the Christian Women and Men Alliance of Community College of Philadelphia invites you to Love Concert on Thursday, February 27, 2014, beginning at 5 at the main campus in the large auditorium, featuring many genres and many special guests from the old school slow jams up to today's upbeats. For tickets and for more information, contact us at 215-424-1747. 215-424-1747. 215-424-1747. And remember that Jesus Christ has agape, unconditional love for everyone, even you. Las Mujeres y Hombres Cristianas y Alianza a la Universidad de Comunidad de Philadelphia le invita a un concierto de amor el jueves febrero 27 el concierto en el campus principal la gran oratorio a las 5 de la tarde de las vejas escuelas hasta viesa hasta la actualidad para boletas y más información pongas un contacto con nosotros en 215-424-1747 215-424-1747 recuerda que Jesucristo amor y todos incluso so is that. Okay, so we're going to show and explain different types of love, but we have a list for you. Different types of loves include... So how many of you know that there are different types of love? Alright, that's good. Okay, so the first kind is Eros. Later on we'll tell you more about them, but it's Eros. Ludus, Pragma, Mania, and Agape. A lot of you must know what Agape love is, right? I love that Christ has love, right? Thanks for coming. My name is Earl Weeks. I'm the president of the club. Our vice president is Ms. Louise. She's sitting over there. Our advisor, Ms. Ida and Ms. Kathy. And we're going to have an opening prayer by Reverend Danielle Watson Young.
some more praise in the place. Hallelujah. We send every fire and dark back to the center right now in the name of Jesus. The devil is under our feet. He's a defeated foe. Hallelujah. Let us pray together. Our Father, our God, we come before you tonight to say thank you. Thank you because you've been merciful and you've been kind. God, we thank you for the uprising this morning, God, and how you kept us all night long. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, we invoke your presence in this place. Holy Spirit, have your way in this place on tonight. Do what you want to do in the name of Jesus. God, we pray tonight that you would get all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And that no flesh would glory. <coughs> Excuse me, glory in your sight in the name of the name of Jesus. Y'all pray, go ahead and pray, because the devil's alive. In the name of Jesus, God had that away. <clears throat> it's all right, go ahead and praise him. Devil, you're a liar. Devil, you're a liar. You're defeated. God, have your way in the name of Jesus. Be glorified, get all the glory. And God, we ask you to anoint these young people as they come forward, as they dance, as they sing, and use their gifts for your glory. But we know that every good and perfect gift comes from you. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to glorify you. We come to magnify you. We come to lift you up on tonight. Hallelujah. Receive our praise on tonight. And we pray that these young people will live the lives that they're singing about and dancing about. In the name of Jesus, now we give it all to you. We thank you and praise you and give you all glory. Excuse me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. With thanksgiving. Amen. Excuse me. Okay. So, the next set. Right now, we are now going to produce our first performance, which is done by Monty Hayes, Dreaming of You. Thank you. If you look in my eyes, you see what's inside Thank you. 
my existence. In my mother's womb, I've been persistent to get out this gloom, searching for my purpose. I am awakened. Wake I am awakened. Now I'm up. changed out the same person from before. I'm up. chasing with my eyes to the sky, looking up to my Lord. My life is in the sands. Those sins working out of me. My foundation on solid rock forever will I stand. I am awakened. Wake I am awakened. Awake. I'm Amen. awake. That I can't keep to myself A holler stirring up From the depths of my soul So excuse me if I seem a little Giddy or maybe even strange But praise is the way I say thanks Let them hear you in heaven performing a very special selection. The producers are Tamara Griffin and Maria Bengora, along with Uzan Bengora, Martha Bengora, Tayana Griffin, and Faith Bryant. Let's give it up for Freedom Crew.
I never left your side and said, you turned your back on me. And you were not a slave. You are my child. And you were destined to be free. And these walls can no longer hold thee. type of love. This love is called pragma. Have any of you heard of that type of love before? No. So let's let Giovanna explain to you what pragma is. What type of pragma love? Okay. Well, pragma love is more of a traditional kind of love. It's more practical. It's more like the compatibility is based off of what can I gain out of this relationship? Not really, you know, I love you. I love you. I want to be with you because of that. It's you have money. Can you support me? Can we grow far? That's all that this love is about. Just practical. Nothing is based off of I love you. If you're broke, sorry, I can't do nothing for you. You got money? We can go. So, it should not be that way, but that's what pregnant type of love is. <laughs> that's right. Next up, a wonderful, wonderful choir. One of our choirs for tonight. Let's give it up for Community College of Philadelphia's Gospel Choir. The, the director of the Gospel Choir is Rolf Graham. I need 
with you. Amen is one of those old time songs. Amen. So I will need you to join up. Clap your hands. You can stop the beat. Do some, you can do some dance. Hey, hey. Lots of them. Amen. So I, uh, 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 you ready? Amen. He's ready.
Okay, this next love is called storage. How many of y'all know what a storage is? A storage. You put your furniture and stuff in the storage? Okay. <laughs> okay. So this type of love is called storage love. Storage love is peaceful and slow. And it also lacks perfect passion and intensity. It's a very long term love. How many of you know people that are together to get just to be together? Not really in love, but they're working up to that point. That's what kind of love this is. Storage love. Alright, so now, next up, another group. Not as big as the gospel choir, but as great as the gospel choir. Ladies and gentlemen, next up is Do You Like Love? Rewarded by me, Cassian Lee. And the performers are Anthony Torrance, Naima Williams, Dominique Brown, and Terrence Kidd. Let's give them a round of applause.
Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> It's full of what the eyes can see and not what the heart can feel. How many of you know people that love that way? Yeah? The videos, you see all of that kind of Eros love. It's not the right, the right kind of love. We don't want that. We don't want that. Amen. So this love is more like from the heart? No. No, this it's love, opposite. Yes, body. I body. see you. I like you. I love you. It's not right. Mm -hmm. Not right at all. <laughs> no. But anyway, next up. A gospel recording artist, Daniel Maurice, from Realistic Radio 88.1 FM, performing No Break. Let's give him a round of applause. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How y'all doing? Great. Praise God. I thank God for this moment. Praise God. Can y'all praise God with me? Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Thing is called, the song is called No Bread. There's no bread, there is a God. You can't mix white with black and form gray when you're trying to serve God. There's no gray area. I just need y'all to do one thing, this. Part of me love the world and the other love you So what do I do? I want to be saved but I got to stay cool too And Lord I'm not a fool I know eventually I'm going to have to choose And really I don't want to lose my time into heaven and a chance to be used by you Now if it's God that I'm after I just can't serve two masters Before something happens I gotta turn it all around Because I know I can't just have my cake and eat it too I know it's really easy to stay on the fence And still do you I know it's cool if we could love the Lord And still go do our things but see, it don't work like that. You gotta be white or black. Mm -hmm. See, Lord, I've realized when it comes to singing. Or be strong and do right. No, I don't want to keep going to church. Singing all about how much you work. And then continue doing my dirt And even as if I didn't care if you hurt Now with this God that I'm after I gotta pick one master Before something happens I gotta turn it all around Because I know I can't just have my cake and eat too I know it's really easy to stay on and still do you Now we be cool if we love the Lord And still know you are they But see it doesn't work like that You gotta be white or black Come on y'all say In the words of a beautiful woman Say we gotta get it together If I wanna live right If I wanna live for Christ Say we gotta
that you hear at night. It's not so hard to sing light. It's a poem and it's a broken hallelujah. Just hold on to whatever's going on, dream, 
anything that's going wrong, just hold on, things will get better. So, I um, hope you guys enjoy the song. Just gotta hold on.
and Anel D. Rivera performing Viva Me. No, no, be so new, beauty, miente. It's okay.
little sermon on what that Italian song was about. This song was originally created by Laura Pausini. She's an Italian, actually an international singer. She sings French, Italian, Spanish, and English. Vive Me is an inspirational, inspiring song. It relates to love, perseverance, and just keep on moving forward. With Jesus, that's the only, that's the only way we can go forward is with Jesus. How many of y'all believe in that? With Jesus, that's the only way to go. Without Jesus, we can't keep moving forward. Without Jesus, there's no life. Without Jesus, there's nothing. So that's what that song was about, Vive Me, in Italian. It was very dancey, very stylish. And I thank you guys for performing for us and for shouting my name. Thank you. Next up, also dancey and stylish, is a praise dance. Our first praise dance for tonight. And it will be by Lene and Eric performing Pressing Your Presence.
just for you know allowing us young people to come together like this and celebrate Jesus. That's amazing, you know. With a lot of things going on today and a lot of challenges that us as young people face, it's it can be hard, you know. It can be hard trying to live right. It can be hard trying to press more into His presence, you know. With a lot of distracting things, you know, like TV, Facebook, uh, this, that. Um, so many things that can uh, draw us away from God to the point the best thing, the reason, the only way I really stayed sane in my mind years ago when I used to smoke weed and when I used to smoke cigarettes and drink liquor and, and, and leave leave my high school classroom because of some girl that I liked, you know? And, you know, I, I was into Jesus, you know, I heard about him. You know what I mean? I was in the church too, still doing all these things, you know? Because the church doesn't change you, it's God that changes you. And even in the midst of all that, I'm just gonna share a little with you, a little bit with y'all, but even in the midst of all that, I stayed in the house of God. I kept going, I kept going, I kept going. Days, nights where I would cry, like, Lord, please take this joint from me. You hear me? Can y'all hear me? I'm not talking to people that can't understand. All right, um, and, I, and I continued to go, nights where I would cry, like, Lord. It gets to the point where you get so hooked on something, you need a higher power now. You need a, a divine intervention. Can y'all feel me? You know? So what I did was like, Lord, you know, repentance really work. Okay. Repentance really work. The Bible says repent and be baptized, every one of you, for the remission of sins. I had to repent and continually repent to God. And I was like, Lord, one time I was like, Lord, I'm done. I'm done. Because the Lord started showing me my future. It was this one house. In this one group of people that I always to smoke around. I always to smoke. They say spark up. I was smoke. Come on, y'all hear me? Break it down. And uh, and I was like, man, wow. This is not me. Conviction set in, because I knew, I knew what was right. You know, you know, Paul said, for the good that I would, I do not. Oh! Come on. But that thing that I hate, that I do. He said, but it's, he said, and I found out that it's no more me. It's not, it's not I that do it, but sin that dwells in me. He said, when I do good, evil is still present. Wow. So we gotta we gotta ask ourselves when we do that thing that we know we don't want to do, we gotta say, what is that? And sin is sin. That's what it is. It's sin, because it's something that's making me do it, and I don't want to do it. So I gotta say, Jesus, yeah. Amen. Jesus, choose it, choose that thing for me. And we gotta know that when we mess up, we gotta get back up again. We fall down, but we get up. We gotta get back up again. We gotta keep it going. Let conviction settle in, because that's just telling you that whatever you're doing, it's it's not what you're supposed to be doing. You know it's not you. You know you. You know you should. You know you know better. Like your parents say, you know better. You know you ain't supposed to be touching that. You know better. You know. So that can fix us that way and just try to become a better you every day. See, we go to church. Church is the right place to be, and holiness is always right. And we so caught up with the shouting and the and the drums and the organ. You know, but God just, God don't want you to become just a, you know, want you to worry about just the spiritual aspect of church or the spiritual aspect of the word, but also the natural part. The, the, the part that say, how can I become a better me? Every day, every day. When you, when you mess up, get back up again and say, you know what? I'm going to do better the next time. And I'm going to keep going, 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 and I'm going to keep going. It never stops. So I encourage young people, especially, 
the stuff we face together. He encouraged them to just hold on. Like, like the brother said, he said something, he ministered to me. He came up with the saxophone and he said, I want to speak a word before I play so y'all can feel me and understand what I'm playing a little bit more. He said, just hold on. He said, Whatever you're going through, just hold on. Oh, man. Respect to they woman who's only 18 but making more than eight figures. Yeah, I got it, I got it. We love a girl, no goddess. We love her for her mind, attracts to her body. We love her for her flaws. We take her out to the island. We spoil her with cheap ass. We put her with designer. We own it, we own it. Yeah, I said we own it, we own it. Thank you everyone for bearing with us. I wanted to share for everyone that even with love there is temptation. For the Lord God said thou will be tempted to do things, but if you pass the test and do not fall for the trap of Satan, all of us have been tempted to do things when we know that they are wrong and outside of the will of God. We face these temptations and when we fail we often feel the guilt and shame from the sin that we have committed. Even people that are trying to do the right thing will fall into traps that Satan uses to ensnare us. Some Christians feel as if their spiritual life is like a roller coaster ride where there are spiritual highs and spiritual lows that often come when we fail a test or give given to temptation. There are many verses in scripture that talk about temptation and testing. Many are given in the forms of warnings. Some verses show how Jesus was tested. And then one verse show for an instance where God invites us to test him with our giving. Many people are loved and is tempted and is tempted for money, sex, drugs, and all of the other things that are worldly and not of God. We ask you to grow a full understanding on what some verses state. We then therefore quote 1 Corinthians 10 13. No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful and he will not let you to be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide a way of escape that you may be able to endure it. We also quote 1 Corinthians 29 verse 17. I know my God that you test the heart and have pleasure in an uprightness. In the uprightness of my heart, I have freely offered all the things, and I know I have seen your people who are the present here offering freely and joyously to you. As realistic radio host Dan Maurice just stated before our friends gave a perfect example of temptation and lust, he stated, hold on, hold on, persevere. When you know that the things of this world is calling you, it's tempting you, and want to use you, and you want to use it, and you want to take advantage of it, and you think about it all the time, I want you to think about that one bad tree that Jesus told both Adam and Eve not to eat. They, it was there, the tree was there, and the snake was there, and they were tempted to do something that the Lord did not want them to do. We have these trees planted all around us today, believe it or not, and that snake that tempted them and prayer pressured them into lusting, we have those snakes surrounding us as well, and we therefore say to you, be careful, and when in doubt, rely on Jesus Christ. And for all of those who have been through struggles, especially myself, and have dealt with pain and never thought about it would go away, you never thought it would get easier, you never thought it would lessen out, 
out. Maybe you're not realizing that you are lusting or falling into temptation traps. But for those who understand where I'm coming from and where they are coming from, uh, then you understand that no matter what you're going through, Jesus will be turning it around for you. Jesus will step in and help you, provide for you, guide you, and lead you. For Jesus says we are the head and not the tail. He's turning it around for you. I would like to extend a special thanks to all of our friends, especially Poppy and Mikey, for helping us and giving us examples in which we've requested uh, about temptation and lust. And thank Daniel Maurice, who's the 88.1 FM Realistic Radio host, for giving us the example when we lust, when we tempt, just to hold on, hold on, and follow Jesus Christ. The lyrics to their performances from Poppy and Mikey came directly from them. So let's give them a round of applause. I can see I can feel it happen Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, now let's give it up for another choir who will be performing with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Temple University Gospel Ministries. Temple University Gospel Choir will be directed by Gerald Shannon. They will be giving us several selections, and before they do, I would like to thank them for performing with us tonight.
Mark, Felicia Henry, who's the president of the Temple Gospel Ministries, Jana Henry, who's the vice president, Gerald Shannon, who's the musical director, Alyssa Williams, who's the corresponding secretary. You can always follow Temple Gospel Ministries on Facebook, Twitter, which is at TU Gospel Choir, and Instagram, which is also TU Gospel Choir. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, let's welcome Aaron Hill, who is the president of Community College of Philadelphia's Gospel Choir, I'll performing so I Won't Complain. And so lonely night. Again, the president of Community College of Philadelphia's Gospel Choir performing I Won't Complain. 
Wow, very inspirational. Again, Community College of Philadelphia is the gospel choir at Community College of Philadelphia. The group has the purpose to encourage the audience and the student body at the college in particular, including and pursuing their academic goals to put God first in their lives via assistance from the American, African American created musical genre known to everyone as gospel. Our nature of this organization shall be culture and ministry. The choir meets every Wednesday from 4.30 to 6 in the Mint Building in room M208, located in the Music Department of Community College of Philadelphia's main campus. The president of this group again is Aaron Hill and the vice president is Andrea Thomas. The choir director is Ross Brown. Anyone interested in joining the Gospel Choir, please do not be afraid to email us. Email ahill22 at ctp.edu. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to introduce the next wonderful performance, the recording gospel artist Jasmine Renee, who's also a radio host for Realistic Radio, 88.1 FM in Philadelphia. Let's give it up for Jasmine Renee performing Healer. Can you come give it up for one more time Jasmine Renee who's a recording gospel artist and a radio host for Realistic Radio and 88.1 FM in Philadelphia the founders of Realistic Radio is Jasmine Renee Daniel Maurice and Reese and they are proud to join us at this spiritual special event Realistic Radio is one of the newest founded organizations and it has began and was founded in September of 2013. Both Jasmine Renee and Daniel are both two intelligent and spiritual guided Community College of Philadelphia students. Realistic Radio airs in West Philadelphia on 88.1 FM every Saturday from 8 to 10. Producers of the Realistic Radio have near future to begin spreading out throughout the entire Philadelphia area. If you wish to contact Realistic Radio, please feel free to contact them via Twitter at Realistic Radio, Instagram Realistic Radio, or you can follow their like page for Realistic Radio for all Realistic Radio updates. Ladies and gentlemen, now performing I Need You Now, Larry Jackson the third. You went gone on and on and on I stretched my hand to you Come with 
Ladies and gentlemen, now let's welcome Azari Jaquan performing Be Grateful. That's not the way it's going to be. Hold up, son. But a little rain makes where the God is sunshine a little rain. Keep turning up, son. How can you appreciate? Yeah. 
got his kingdom in our eyes and faces The battle cry from the sky cause I'm a giant slayer You know the enemy never forget to dominate us You know the enemy never forget to dominate us Just know the enemy never forget to dominate us And the fortress says it's time to bring it. And if it wasn't for Jesus, we'd be abominations. Because our nation's betrayed when we should be all obeying. You see it changing me. Why do you think my shine's amazing? Jesus, who do you think I try portraying? But now you're waiting in the mirror, I see a monster waiting. I must ignore him and focus on what my God is saying. So recognize and accept him, escape the condemnation. We all stand only hand in hand in the kind
ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for everyone who performed throughout this concert, whether if they were a speaker, a dancer, a singer, within a grand finale, everyone had the opportunity to come on stage who performed with us in the concert. They had the opportunity to come on stage, to all join together and sing our grand finale, Oh Happy Day, that, which was led sang by Aaron Hill, who's again the president of Community College of Philadelphia Gospel Choir, as well as Jasmine Renee who's the realistic radio host as well as the gospel recording artist. Let's give it up for everyone who performed throughout this entire concert. I just thank everyone for Freedom Crew, which is a Christian comical group that performed their own handwritten skits. They started in 2013, which is almost a year old. This youth group performs videotape and perform live at Christian events, their own handwritten skits, and they are the creators of each skit that they put together. Not only are their skits hilarious, it's also inspirational to the old and new beginning Christians. Freedom Crew started out with only nine members, but through the Holy Spirit, they're only, now they're down to five. So they're definitely looking for recruitment. Anyone interested in joining them to continue producing their comical skits, please be not afraid to ask. The producers of it is Jamera Griffin and Maria Bangora, and they're seeking new talent ages from 10 to 17. In order to become a member of Freedom Crew, you do have to audition, but for more information, contact either Jamera Griffin or Maria Bangora. Jamera's email address is jameraax at verizon.net. That's J-A-M-A-R-A-A-C-T-S at verizon.net. Make sure to send them an email subtitle Freedom Crew. You can also like them on Facebook or Instagram at Freedom Crew 580. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to give you a quick snippet of what community college is all about. Community College of Philadelphia is an open admission associate degree granting institution which provides access to higher education for all who may benefit. Its programs of study in the liberal arts and science, career technologies, and basic academic skills provide a coherent foundation for college transfer, employment, and lifelong learning. The college serves Philadelphia by preparing its students to be informed and concerned citizens, active participants in the cultural life and the city and enabled to meet the changing needs of business industry and of professions to help address broad ec economic culture and political concerns in the city and beyond the college draws together students from a wide range of ages and backgrounds to seek and provide the programs that they support that they need to achieve their goals community college of philadelphia vision is to serve philadelphia as a premier learning institution where student success exemplifies the strength of a diverse urban community college. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'm Cassian Ali, the event coordinator and program specialist for the Christian Women and Men Alliance at Community College of Philadelphia, which is one of many several clubs and organizations here at campus. The Christian Women and Men Alliance strives to provide a spiritual enrichment support group to all students of all nationalities, religions, and faith through meetings and activities that will increase the membership spiritual Miss Louise Whitaker is the founder as well as the vice president of the Christian Women and Men Alliance. We are always welcoming new members with open arms. We encourage you to come as you are. We also are currently looking for new members to join us for future events. The Christian Women and Men Alliance will always be open to invite other organizations, ministries, churches, and Christian groups to join us at all events. We are also delighted to join you at your events. The Christian Women and Men Alliance meet for Bible study every Thursday for this semester from 1 to 3.30, located in Student Life Building, which is the Winnett Building, in room S208. All are welcome to come and join us. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big, warm round of applause to everyone who performed or, or, or who participated in our concert. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to thank all of you, but first we give God all the glory, the credit, the honor, and the praise, and we thank him for allowing us to have this together. Secondly, we would like to thank all of you, all of the listeners, all of the watchers, and all of the audience who's supporting us here tonight. Now let's thank all of the performers, and we'll start with actors and actresses, which is Freedom Crew. The producers were Jamir Griffin and Maria Bangora. The cast for Freedom Crew at this concert was Jamir Griffin, Maria Bangora, Jayana Griffin, Martha Bangora, Uzan Bangora, and Faith Bryant. Now let's give it up for the dancers, which was Sheila Thornton, Umi Muhammad, Lene and Eric, Patrick and Luis Boylan. For all of the singers, Poppy and Mikey, Imani Hayes, Manning Strong, Umi Judah, 
Tyler, Bray, Anelji Rivera, Aaron Hill, Fax Brody, Naima Williams, Anthony Turrence, Dominique Brown, Terrence Kidd, Daniel Maurice, Jasmine Renee, Larry Jackson III, Azari Jaquan. The choir to perform for us tonight was Community College of Philadelphia Gospel Choir, directed by Ross Brown, and Temple University Gospel Ministries. Temple University Gospel Ministries, once again, would like to make an announcement that they would like support for their upcoming event, their upcoming spring concert on April 19, 2014, beginning at 6 on Saturday at the Howard Gritch Student Center at 217 ABCD, located at 1755 North 13th Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19122. We would like to thank everyone who participated in our concert from the gospel, from the Temple University Gospel Choirs. Everyone, now let's thank all of the speakers, which was Reverend Danielle Young, who gave us an awesome, incredible opening prayer, Minister Good, Ida Swindle, Javonna Jackson, who is the co-host, myself, Cassian Lee, and for all of the production crew, this could not have been without them. So let's thank all of them, beginning with their special recruitment judges, which was Sonny Noel, Marvin Thomas, and Brandy Brooks. Stage crew, Mickey Abdul and Devin Williams. The video production crew was Jeremy Griffin. The recording crew, thank you so much, Colin Gaffney. Our performance ready was Usman Bengora. Our concert ushers was Muhammad and Kofi. The ticket masters was our very own Vice President Louise Whitaker and Regina Lee. Now for our special thanks, we would like to extend a special thanks to the following. David Green, who's the Director of Student Life. Pazetta Arrington, a Technical Craft Specialist for Clubs and Organizations. Genevia Weaver, who's the Coordinator for the Student Leadership and Involvement Center. Chelsea Peasy, the OSA Dean of Students. Earl Weeks, the President of the Christian Women and Men Alliance. Ida Swindle and Catherine who are the Christian Women and Men Alliance advisors. We also would like to thank special thanks to the Multimedia Services Department. We would like to thank everyone from the audio and video, including Joseph McFadden, Richard Gilbert, and Alan Korbenick. Lastly, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to thank ourselves, who are the board executive board members, which is Earl Weeks, who's the president, Louise Whitaker, the vice president and founder, Cassian Lee, myself, which is the who is the event coordinator, Ida Swindle and Catherine, who are the co-advisors, and Valerie Williams, who are the secretaries. If you would like to become a member or if you would like more information about the Christian Women and Men Alliance, contact us by emailing one of the following Earl Weeks, which is E Weeks, the number two at ccp.edu, Louise Whitaker, which is L W H I T A K, the number nine at ccp.edu, myself, Cassian Lee, K L E E C H I, the number one at ccp.edu, Ida, which is S Swindle, that's I S W I N D L E at ccp.edu, or Catherine, K W. U-T-K-I-E-W-I-C-Z at ccp.edu. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, our mission statement is that the Christian Women and Men Alliance strives to provide a spiritual enrichment support group to all students with all nationalities, religions, and faith through group meetings and activities that will increase members' spirituality. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming out. Once again, all of our listeners, all of our watchers, and all of us who came out tonight and supported us tonight, I would like to thank all of you guys. And remember, keep us updated with your events as we will keep you updated with ours. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much much for support and Community College of Philadelphia Christian Women and Men Alliance. Thank you and God bless.